So the Steelers doing what they have done over the years better than anybody else, and that's throw deep. I don't know about the change in philosophy. A lot has been written. Steelers are going to dump short, dump short, but they still throw that 25 and 30 yard rock as good as anybody. Not with Bradshaw in there. They're always going to go deep. Six out of 28, 100, six out of eight, 129 yards for Bradshaw. Flag is down, and so is Bradshaw. Well, you can't throw the ball on your back, and he is upset. He is angry. Now, where was the breakdown there? Only uh, a second look will tell us. The breakdown right there, I just gave the guy a lot of credit on the play before, but Punch Ilton grabbed uh, number 75, George Martin. You see it on the right side of your screen as he comes inside, takes him down. We see a flag coming right out of uh, the backfield judge's uh, pocket, which allowed Lawrence Taylor to come from that uh, blitzing linebacker position to get the sack. Here's uh, referee Freddie Wyant. Holding. Number 62, declined, second down. Boy, you had a great shot of that, didn't you? Our director, Billy McCoy, made sure you saw that one very clearly. Reg regrettably, however. And we'll see, we'll see that holding. Number 62, Tunch Elkin, grabs him right down. That's a no-no. You cannot do that. In the backfield, it's Abercrombie, 34, and Rick Moser, 39. Grabs all with some time. Now George Martin, and they got him back to the 25-yard line. Sack of the day for the New York Giants, and Lawrence Taylor gets it. Now, the coverage must have been superb in the First secondary. You know, you see Walter Abercrombie they're throwing a block on Lawrence Taylor, but because of the fact that we got uh, such a great rush by George Martin, it, it uh, threw Terry out of the pocket, which allowed Lawrence Taylor to come from his linebacking position to make the sack. Giants have been very impressive defensively. They may have the best uh, uh, quartet of linebackers in the league when they're all healthy. These guys can play rough, and the Steelers have found that out tonight. 